call me Dan the Lakers fan. And I got a massive plan for the Lakers back to the promised land. Spread the vision through my people, cause we fans are equal. When we reach 20k subs, yeah, we gon' drop a sequel. Another Laker anthem track, watch me run it back. Got the keys to the city where my Laker chat. What up, Laker family? It is your boy DTLF back with another pregame live stream. Oh, man. Listen, listen. Golden opportunity for the Lakers here. Unfortunately, no LeBron. Late game scratch. Apparently, he showed up to the arena. He had flu-like symptoms. He's not going to play. But we've won plenty of big games without him. This one will be tough, though. It is the Timberwolves. Timberwolves seem to be fully healthy. They got Ant-Man. They're battling for number one place in the West. So this is probably going to be the hardest game of the year leading up to this point right now. What are these role players made of? Show me today, Lakers family. I'm ready. I'm ready to put on the, the Thanos glove and the final stone is ready to complete with a dub tonight because guess what happened earlier? And what up? Good to see you, Search KJ, Peruvian guy, all you guys, man. Good to see y'all. Listen, the Suns lost to the Pelicans, all right? Now, what does this mean? What does this mean? It means... That if we want to get greedy, if we really want to get greedy, fam, we win tonight and we win out the rest of the year, we, I believe we have the tiebreaker versus the Suns. They are one game above us right now in the standings. The Lakers, 45 and 33. The Suns, 46 and 32. So we can move all the way up to six, but we have to win tonight to keep up pace. It's an absolute must. We have won four in a row. We're nine and one the last 10 games. <clears throat> Minnesota Timberwolves are 7-3. and three. They're coming off of a loss, so they're going to want to get this one back. But the Lakers, man, we are at home. We have home court advantage. If you're in the game, the crowd got to be loud. I got an invitation to come through today, by the way. Appreciate that, guys. Thank you. Couldn't do it with my family today, but, man, I'm excited. And if you guys are just as excited as me, come on over. Come on down to playback. What up, KJ? will be there. Yes, sir. Playback first 20 to get in. You know what it is. Jonathan, he said, keys to the game, AR, D'Lo, Spencer, game. He said, stop, Nas Reed. My goodness, you're absolutely right. Thanks so much for Super Chat, brother. I appreciate that. Um, you're absolutely freaking right, man. Nas Reed is a killer. He, you know, whether he starts or comes off the bench, he comes in and he does some crazy stuff. Yeah, no LeBron. He's out with flu-like symptoms, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen. So that is the horrible news. But the good news is we have won plenty of games without LeBron James this year. Can we make the most important game count? Tonight, this very second. Now, the Kings, unfortunately, the Kings, uh, they put a whooping on the Nets, which means that if the Lakers lose, the Kings regain their eighth overall slot. But if the Lakers win, we are half a game away from both the Pelicans and the Suns, and I do believe we have a tiebreaker over both of those freaking teams. So now the sixth seed is into play if we win tonight. You better believe if we win tonight, I'm going to be so hyped. I'll be waving both the Laker flags. <clears throat> this is the biggest game of the year. It all culminated to this moment. Is do or die. Four games left, ladies and gentlemen. None bigger than the one today. Golden opportunity for the Lakers again with the Suns losing. However, unfortunately, LeBron is out for those of you that are just tapping in. Well, make sure you, if you guys are just tapping in, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you already haven't. We got tons of content. And also, if you guys have not followed us on playback, what are you waiting for? We are three away from the big 400, fam. The church has grown. All right. It is, listen, it is the religion of Lakers over there. So definitely go tap in. What up, Kimiko? Good to see you. Good to see you, girl. Uh, <clears throat> let's get fired up. You're absolutely right, man. But I, I believe in this Laker team, fam. We've been believing in this Laker team. It has all culminated to this very moment right now. Again, if the Lakers win, look at the standings. Look close. I don't think you're looking. I don't think you're looking close enough because if you can see the standings, again, we have, I believe we have tiebreakers versus both New Orleans, or actually we're leading the series in New Orleans, but we play them at the end of this year. So that one, I've been telling you, that one can mean everything. But <clears throat> we could leapfrog both of these teams, the Suns and the Pellies. All right, now check it out. The Pellies final games. All right, they got the Trailblazers, probably a win. But then they got the Kings, all right, which is huge for us. Then they got the Warriors. And then we get to be the decision maker at the end. And that's the Pelicans. Now, the Suns, who opened up the door for the Lakers to, to walk up in there and overtake them, which a lot of people didn't imagine we could crawl all the way up to six. The Suns got a tougher schedule. They got the Clippers twice, although the Clippers do have the potential of tanking. Then they got the Kings, who are definitely not going to tank, and the Timberwolves, who could be fighting for the number one seed by the end of that game right there. So again, <clears throat> golden opportunities for the Lakers, man. Tonight is equals a must win, and I'm ready to wave flags tonight, y'all, because our final stretch 
This is the biggest one. This is the toughest one remaining on the schedule. Warriors, we have smacked them before. All right, the Grizzlies should be a piece of cake. The Pelicans, Pelicans. All right, we won that trade. We won that trade, ladies and gentlemen. We won that trade. I can say that out loud. We won the championship and we won the trade. We won it all. Well, let's get it's time to get greedy. No, no vampires in our locker room. It is time. It is now or never, ladies and gentlemen. And if the Lakers can win here tonight, it's gonna take us a long way. I'll tell you that. A long way. Because that means, like again, like I said, six spot is in play. So technically, the Lakers could end up anywhere between six and ten by the end of next week. Think about that. I mean, it makes every game crucial, but none more crucial than this one. Again, for those of you that are just tapping in, hit the like button while you guys are in here. Doesn't cost a dime. Uh, and, uh, you know what I'm saying, make sure you subscribe if you already haven't, because I got you guys covered throughout this whole stretch and beyond going into the summer. Hey, what's good, D-Free? <clears throat> Hope you're doing good. I'm doing great, man. How you doing, brother? Good to hear from you, man. Always a pleasure hearing from my guy, D-Free. Listen, no LeBron James tonight, but again, this is what the Lakers team is built for to step up in the absence of a king, all right? We are built for that. We have beat several teams without LeBron. We, Matter of fact, we beat the Celtics without both Bron and AD. So we do have AD. We have to count our blessings. That means we're going to need more production from uh, everybody, including Rui Hachimura, who's been a lot better, right, uh, efficient. Uh, we're going to need more from Austin, who really hasn't had a big game in a couple of times. Now's your time to shine Austin Reeves, or a.k.a. Uh, Jerry Reeves, as my boy likes to call him, Die Hard. Yes, sir. Um, it's the time to shine, family. And listen, thing about this Laker team is when we feel like th their back is against the wall, nine out of ten games they have won, fam. Nine out of ten. We're officially 12 games over 500. Let's get the 13 tonight. Let's get the 13 tonight, please, Laker family. And, uh, and yeah, it's, it's going to be a tall task. Obviously, our leading scorer is LeBron at 25 point, uh, four points per game. He's our leading scorer. He's our leading assist guy at 8.2 assists per game. But we still have the other leader on the team, and that is Anthony Davis. And Anthony Davis is going to show up, and he's going to show out. I just have a feeling, right? We need some of his 12.8 uh, rebounds per game tonight. We need his steals, his blocks, his defense. He averages 1.2 steals and 2.4 blocks. You want to talk about the real-life defensive player of the year? Go out and snatch Rudy Gobert's chain tonight, Anthony Davis. Snatch that chain and take your defensive player of the year award. Take that from him. I know they're not going to give it to you, but you take it, right? And, and D'Lo, listen, he's averaging 18.3 points per game with six assists. We need all of that tonight, and then some. Austin Reeves, we need all of the 15.8 tonight. Rui, we need all of the 13.3 tonight. It's not a day to have an off day. Torian had a phenomenal game in my presence yesterday. Um, listen, we need him to step up and have an even better game here today, okay? Uh, he said, give Caitlin Clark a 10-day contract. <laughs> Bruh, she choked tonight, but uh, great defense, man, uh, by the opposition. I mean, that was a great game. If you guys didn't watch that one, uh, Cardosa, man, I want her to be drafted by the Sparks. She's a heck of a ball player. We need some size. You know what I'm saying? I wanted Angel Reese, but now I want Cardosa. I think she was phenomenal. Today. What, she had like 14, 15? I think she had like 17 rebounds or something like that. He said, I'm great, bro. We just got a puppy, so I'm drained. I feel you on that. He said, that W2 toddlers is a lot. That with two toddlers. Sorry, I read that wrong. That with two toddlers. I feel you, bro. But hey, man, the happiness that a dog and two toddlers bring is, is, is phenomenal. So, you're, you know, blessings to your household, man. Keep growing, brother. Keep growing. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. He said, I'm going to come down to how much can Max and Spencer give us? You think so? You think it's going to come down to that? You really think it's going to come down to that? I don't know. I, I mean, it'd be great if both of those guys can contribute, but I think it, it really, we're going to have to set the tone with AD, feeding him inside, getting Rudy Gobert in foul trouble tonight. We know, you know, Ru Rudy just likes to stand in the paint and block shots. All right. So let's make sure we get him in foul trouble tonight. Opens up the lane for everybody else. And, uh, and also Ant-Man, what are we going to do with him? How are we going to lock him up? How are we going to try to shut him down? Keep him under 30 points tonight is an absolute freaking must. All right. Lakers got to come out here and slow him down. I won't say stop him completely because you can't stop a man that's as possessed as Anthony Edwards. All right. You cannot stop a man, but you can slow down a man as possessed as Anthony Edwards. And he averages 25.9 career high, you know, shooting 45% from the field. Dude is a beast, but we really got to keep Rudy Gobert off the board. So those second chance points are going to kill us. And here's somebody nobody's talking about because he usually his whole career has been an under the radar career, but Mike Conley. Mike Conley is a Laker killer, fam. 
Matter of fact, he averages 13.3 points per game with seven assists versus the Lakers, shooting a, a career high 50% from beyond the arc. So we got to make sure we stay on top of uh, on top of Mike Conley. No diddy. Okay, we got to stay on top of that cat and make sure he doesn't have one of those splendid Ohio State Buckeye games, fam. Like one of his old co collegiate career games. I feel you, Abdul. I was just as disappointed, man. It is disappointing. It's like, bro, what is you doing to get the flu? You know, but, but some things are out of your control. It is what it is. We got to win in spite. Okay. I, I don't know if he lives in the same universe as we do, but the refs don't ever have our back. We earn everything, and they owe us a lot. And uh, and I can't believe you guys are still salty, man. You, you're still salty about handing us a championship when you traded us AD? Hopefully not, man, because you're saltier than Ritz right now, bro. Uh, by the way, aren't you lost? I don't believe we play the Pelicans today, do we? I don't think so, unless somebody clipped your wings and you got lost, bro. I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> we ain't losing no more games. Mark my words. I like that, bro. I've been saying it for a while. If the Lakers can get to 17 or 18 wins, we're good. And we got about 16 right now since the All-Star break. So we're, we're right on the mark where I wanted us to be for sure, right? Hey, what's up, Kurt? Good to see you, my brother. Good to see you, man. Welcome, brother. Welcome, welcome. Uh, Dan, this is the Lakers' biggest game of the season. I feel you, and I think they feel you as well. And they ha they have to perform like it's the biggest game. They have to come out here and perform, fam. Like uh, I I'm not talking perform like come out here and give your averages. I'm talking about they got to perform like a stripper on a pole 24-7, just tired, man. They, you know, when they take off their heels, they, their feet got to hurt type shit. They got to come out here, man, and they got to do some – spectacular things and uh <clears throat> we are ready all right this is this is what it culminates the whole season all the sacrifices all the injuries that we battled through the uh misfortunes the bad poor officiating unlike the pelicans fan just said but the poor officiating clearly somebody was born yesterday they're talking about the lakers get all the calls but we have to come out here ready to fight man and they're gonna scrap for everything i promise you we're coming off of a back-to-back -back. that's not an excuse if anything we should be less rusty you know what i'm saying we should be less rusty uh, but yeah, this is definitely the biggest game, Laker game of the season for sure. Uh, hey, what up, Dave? What's up, brother? Hopefully you guys are ready for playback, man. I expect a big turnout, over 50 over there. So make sure you guys get in early. It's, you know, the game's going to start at the top of the hour at 7 p.m. So make sure you guys get in on time. If you already haven't followed us over there, please listen to the GOAT moderator, which is Search, you know, say the Destroyer. Uh, and, and make sure you guys go follow. Click the link. It's very easy, man. Download the app. Click the link. Turn on the naughty bells, all that good stuff. He said LeBron doesn't show up for big games. You you think so, Renee? I don't know. I don't know, girl. I, I think LeBron, I think LeBron really got sick. I don't think he would miss this game on purpose. Now, rumor has it he showed up wanting to play, but he just he felt too weak. So I don't know how he got the flu, but uh it happens. It's freak accidents, man. They gotta stop spreading these chemtrails out here in Cali, man. Uh <clears throat> I'm right there with you, Vitaly. Dan, I hope we get the sixth spot in the West. Uh, they can still make it. I believe. I believe, right? What was that chant that Team USA was saying hope, like before they lost in the World Cup? I believe that we will win. Well, we're not going to say that because that's bad luck. But we're, I believe in this team for sure, man. I believe in the purple and gold. And um, and they have every time we, we have a, like a, a superstar missing, they pull up big time. And I, I'm expecting a big game from either Reeves, DeAndre Russell, or Rui, or two of the three. All right. One, like one of those two or two of the three. Or have to go off in order for us to win. All right. Those are the keys to the game. Key number one, we must contain Ant-Man. All right. We can't let him grow like the cartoon, fam. You feel me? We got to contain him and make sure that he has a, a low efficient game. That means if he gets 27, 28, 29 points, cool. As long as you keep him low efficient, which would be something like seven for 25 or something like that, right? That's what we want. We want misses, we want rebounds, and we want to get out of transition. Because without LeBron James, we're missing eight assists a game. Yes, definitely hit the like button. Listen to my computer and smack that like button. Yes, sir. Um, so many things, man. So many things that have to go right in order for us to win. AD has to be an absolute dog. Okay. He has to dominate Rudy. Uh, we didn't have uh, you know, saying ex Laker Stanley Johnson dominate Rudy Gobert. Uh, you know, saying he's a little more undersized than, than uh AD. So if he can do it, AD. You can definitely do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, like he got to come out here with the heart of a lion and show him who's boss. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Search. My computer has a mind of its own. But when I do something like this, I guess it throws up the like to remind everybody to hit that like button. So please, please listen to the computer, man. It has a brain of its own. We love you, computer. We love you. 
Don't kill me in 2029, computer. Uh, we need an active Jackson Hayes today. That's true. That is a good point. Uh, D Free said the dummy says the refs got our back because we always high up on the list of free throws, but our 29th and threes. Exactly. Make it make sense. You know, the math has to math. We get to the free throw line. They're really missing. Listen, they really missing about. I'd say, and, I, and this is just me being honest, anywhere between 15 to 20 calls per night. I, I've counted them. I've gone as far as to count them. That's on average. They miss about 15 to 20 calls per night. And what I mean by miss, I mean they call some cheap sh- cheap stuff in their favor, and they miss some that are actually fouls, like LeBron getting whacked upside the head, like AD getting hacked on his way to the, you know, you know what I'm saying, to the paint, stuff like that. They miss it about, you know, 15 to 20 times a game. Count it. If anybody can... Uh, you know, count them for me tonight and then give me the counter on how many realistic missed calls. Because they call us delusional. But we watch every game. We're not delusional. We know what we see. We're not blind out here, folks. We know exactly what we're looking at. And, yeah, they call about, uh, you know what I'm saying? Yes, it is. Thank you, Search. Um, please do. He said the computer, the AI controlling Dan, it pretty much is huh, guiding me in which way and which direction I'm going for sure. Um, it's a, le- a little easier to cover for Braun, but impossible to cover for AD, so I ain't worried. Oh, I'm worried, bro. I'm worried because LeBron, listen, he's a huge presence. Even the way he attacks the rim, nobody attacks the rim like LeBron does. So he kind of sets the tone when he's aggressive, right? When he's playmaker, Braun, then I agree with you. Um, but aggressive LeBron is my favorite. And without him being aggressive, putting pressure on the wings, they're going to have more opportunities to roam around and bother some of our guards. So I wouldn't... I wouldn't be surprised if either D'Lo or Austin Reeves or both have a poor shooting percentage night because they have some decent defenders that can get out there and do some things, right? Um, but we got to worry about the other end, the defensive end on our end, right? How is Darvin Ham going to counter? Like, are we going to go with Torian Prince in the start? Like, what what is the start lineup looking like, right? Matter of fact, we should have it by now. Let me double check that for you guys, and I'll tell you exactly what the start lineup is going to look like because it's got to be different. Okay, here it is. So D'Angelo Russell... Austin Reeves, Spencer Dinwiddie at the, so we're going small. Spencer Dinwiddie at the three, uh, Rui Hachimura, and Anthony Davis. Now, this team does have a 2-0 and record with that team, right? Spencer Dinwiddie in the start lineup sometimes works. Last time he had, I think he had a Laker career high, right? So it could work. I'm not going to sit here and trash it till I see it. But we are going up against a pretty big team in Minnesota who have, I, I believe they have two big men alongside of it and we're going we're coming with a three guard lineup so that's really concerning right we are two and oh with this lineup but matchups you know styles make fights meaning that two and oh could be a misleading stat because it, it depended on who we played and i don't have the list of the two teams we played but we're two and oh so hopefully we make it three and after tonight i pray to god man we need it ladies and gentlemen we need this win here tonight i'm gonna be nervous y'all tune in to uh playback in a couple of minutes because that's where the action and all the fun is going to be at uh, hey, Dan, what do you think is the biggest key for us to win, get a win tonight? The biggest key for us to get a win tonight is to play under control. Because the moment we start getting sloppy, turning the ball over and giving up transition buckets and freebies, we're going to lose the game, right? And we cannot do that for long stretches. We might be able to get away with that for a couple of minutes during the course of the game. But once it, it's a whole quarter like that, it's wraps, right? Uh, he said, did the Lakers only play 10 big games this year? We have short-term memory loss. That's why I said I didn't like him missing the Nuggets game. The narrative that he's ducking is climbing. Yeah, but you know what? Again, I th- those narratives do not live in real basketball fans' minds. Those narratives live in player fans' minds. This is I don't entertain that, D Free. You know what I'm saying? That I've read it already a couple of times online. And the best way you can get rid of trolls is to scroll up. Don't even engage with them. Because I found that when you engage with these trolls, you give them life. They're like parasites. They just latch onto you and start leeching, bro. Like, that's what they do. They want any sort of attention. They have daddy issues, man. They didn't ever get no love at home. So they, they're looking for some tough love online, you know, which is basic, basically just me whooping that ass, no ditty. You know what I'm saying? So that's what they're looking for, D Free. I, I never give it to them, you know. So they're not deserving of any sort of love or attention for that matter. But yeah, I feel you that narrative will grow within these leeches and they'll try to grow it because their agenda of hating on a greatness. It, 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 you know, it will still stay alive as long as we put attention. The same thing with Skip, Skip Bayless does the exact same thing, right? He'll give a backhanded compliment like, oh, the Lakers went on a 17-2 run in the fourth quarter and LeBron only had two points. And then he'll say something like, he has more than enough help. It's like, okay, so you said all of that, 
to say that, right? You, you could have said, oh, LeBron's leadership is really good or, you know, uh, there, there's dispelling the fact that Paul Pierce said he needs to put, pass the ball more. Like he could have said anything. But of course, they looking for these narratives and uh, and it, it's insane, man. It's insane. But we're not going to feed these leeches, man. That way they can, you know, leave them out in the hot desert to dry out for sure. Hey, Dan, what do you think is the biggest key for us to win, to get the W tonight? Big, I answered that one, didn't I? Didn't I say uh, play under control basketball? Don't turn the ball over too much because as soon as you do that, out of the ball game. I promise you. Even though you're at home and you do have the crowd behind you, if you have a bad quarter versus the, the Timberwolves and Darwin doesn't call a, a, a timely timeout, if I dare say so, um, that could cost us a ball game. We have to control the tempo. Even if we get a 10-point deficit, we have to make sure that uh, we're we're fighting one possession at a time. Don't try to get it all back and shoot half-court shots like Curry. Don't try to do none of that. One possession at a time should get us there. I mean, but this game, again, this game, we don't know what style of gameplay this is going to be because what if the Lakers come out here and they start smacking threes with all these guards they have? What if we start outrunning the Timberwolves, getting stops and getting out in transition, playing with a lot of heart? The way we played in Boston – Versus Boston without AD and LeBron. We'll see. There is a chance. And then again, a different narrative from these leeches will grow, which is the Lakers are better without LeBron. It's not. We're liable to lose these games without, um, you know, that big presence in the game for sure. So there's a, there's a good balance. Are the, are the Lakers capable of winning this game? Sure. Are they guaranteed in winning this game with or without LeBron? Hell no. And without LeBron, you have to, uh, you know, there has to be better playmaking all the way around. Ball has to move, find a hot hand, and do some tremendous things here and there. Uh, my guy Juan says, um, who is tonight's X factor? I think it's AD. AD has to take it to Rudy Gobert and give that man the French baguette. You feel me? He needs to listen. No Diddy. He needs to get it, give it to him, man, from the, from start to finish. And he needs to let him have it, man. And, and if that doesn't happen, if, if AD comes out here, he looks lethargic. He looks sloppy. He looks like he just busted before he got into the game. It's going to be all bad. fam. It's going to be. A horrible outing because I think we go as he goes, especially defensively, but offensively as well. Right? I don't need him fading away from the basket. I need him leaning into those shots. You know what I mean? Like, don't be afraid of Rudy Gobert. Let him have it. You know? So that's what we got to do tonight. I think he's the X Factor for sure. But, you know, a dark horse X Factor could be Rui Slashimora because he's been extremely effective, man. He, he has been... I think Rui has been, you know, an under the radar guy ever since he started. We've gone on this tear, this tear that we're going on right now, winning nine out of the last ten games. You know, what I'm saying winning sixteen to seventeen games out of the All Star break, which I thought was key, and now we can exceed that by winning out the last four games. That would be tremendous, right? And Rui has been a, a, a key factor to that. He's helping us on the boards. He's averaging over six since starting. He's helping us with his high efficiency. He's even knocking down those corner threes. Torian Prince off the bench. Last night was phenomenal. Can he do that again tonight? It's a lot of variables. It's not just one, but yes, I think AD has to set the tone tonight. We hold him at a high standard. But sometimes you hear people slander him. They shouldn't slander him, but they could, you know, constructively criticize him. That's the best way to say it. Uh, yeah, but Jay, we had an advantage last season. We always got a team right after the Clippers. <laughs> That's right. Dan, are you doing price picks? Yes. And thank you for reminding me because time is running out. I'm going to go ahead and do that now, my friend. Thank you so much for reminding me, Vic. I almost completely forgot. Let's submit our quick entry on price picks. You, got, you guys know everybody's favorite segment. And remember, if you guys haven't got in on the action, make sure that you guys uh, use promo code DTLF. That'll get you guys 100% deposit match all the way up to 100 bucks. So whatever you deposit, you get the equivalent to play with. All right, let's start it off here. All right, now. We know D'Lo's going up against a former team. No LeBron James should up his shooting. So I do believe he can get over 19.5. I do believe that. I believe in, in D'Lo, more ball handling, more of a feel for the game for sure. Austin Reed's going to have to pick up the, you know, the slack with his assist. Um, but who knows? I don't want to take the risk there. Uh, Rui. We need Rui to be a bucket tonight. Pick. I'm, I, you know what? I shouldn't pick on what we need. I should pick on what I feel is going to happen. So. I won't go with that one, right? But we could use Rui to be a bucket for sure tonight. Uh, Rudy Gobert getting 13 rebounds. He is going up against AD, right? So I hope not. I hope he doesn't get the 14 rebounds. But, again, kind of risky. This guy hitting three threes. Oh, my God. I, I don't know. He kills the Lakers. I'm going to pick him up. Again, I want to I want to help you guys win some money, so I'm going to go with my gut. I'm going to pick him up just because he, he kills the Lakers every time we face him. Nas Reed, somebody I really wanted for the Lakers. 
All right, now let's go with Ant-Man, Anthony Edwards. 26 points, I think he gets those easily. I think he gets the Lakers perimeter defense sometimes is very questionable. I think he will, I think he will get those. Now let's go under what I think won't happen, right? And who I think won't reach a certain level. And let's go, let's go back to points, right? Let's see here. What won't happen tonight, fam? I think I think he'll get that 17 for sure. Jaden McDaniel's getting over 10 points. It's the Lakers, fam. The Lakers paint defense is not that great. Although AD, when he steps up, you know, he puts the fear of God in him. But sometimes the guards just allow, like, uh, players to pass. And that, that becomes a huge problem. So uh, kind of risky there. And, again, I should have submitted my prize picks earlier, but I was busy with my family. Um, that way there would have been more options. But right now we got one game. So feel free feel free to tap in right now, man. Uh, you guys know the promo code. Um Jaden McDaniels. I say he'll get this, fam. I say he'll get this. This is the Lakers again. Uh, and remember, people don't know, we picked this guy, right? He was included in the trade package. We picked him. Jaden McDaniels. He should have been a Laker. All right, three-pointers made. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Points, rebounds. He hasn't hit, but I don't want to bet against Hale Billy Kobe because he could come back to, to bite us for sure. Points, rebounds, man. I really want to take Rui so bad. What do you guys suggest, chat? What do you guys suggest for the final? Rudy won't get 14? Is that a promise? Is that a promise? Because you know what? If that's a promise, if that is a promise, fam, I will take your pick. <laughs> I, I trust you, man. Even though I think he will get it. Um, all right, screw it. Let's let's go with that suggestion. Rudy will not get 14 rebounds. All right. Let's go back to Rudy Gobert. Let's go back to the rebounds, and let's go less. I'm going to go with it. It's a risky one. Feel free to tail. Feel free to tail. I think that's everything. Let me see. 40. All right, so that's 54. Let's do one, two, three, four, five. Lately, the payoffs have been least, right? Like, they have been a little bit less. Like, so one, two, three, four. So what if I remove one player? What if I remove one player here? All right. Let's just say I remove Nasri. What does that go? See, it's the same thing. So you got to be careful sometimes when you submit these entries. One extra player might not make a difference. I might as well go in with these with these picks right here. This, these will be the picks. Let's place the entry. 54 bucks if we win. Four pick entry, y'all. That is a four pick entry for, for you guys, ladies and gentlemen. So again... Man, it's nerve wrack time, man. I'm really nervous. We got about eight minutes till tip off. I'm extremely nervous. Any comments, questions, concerns? He said prior to last night's game, starter Rui was averaging 59% from the field goal and 42% from three. It is insane how he has risen, man. How, how you know? And we we were all we were all complaining about Coach Darbenham starting this guy. Like, how you pay somebody 50 plus million dollars and don't start him? And finally, he came to his senses and he benched Torian Prince and he. You know, ever since uh, Vanda went, uh, uh, got injured, Rui has taken off. So that there's always a silver lining in everything. And I think Rui has been such a silver lining. Y'all remember when we first traded him, how excited I was? Because I, I knew he had tons of potential. I've been a fan of his. He was a lottery pick, obviously, out of Gonzaga. Since, you know, he came out, he was solid, man. He has star potential. And he still has it, right? He's still young. What is he, 26 years old? Still really young. Some players don't hit their prime till 28, just like my guy, uh, D'Angelo Russell. He's having a career year at 28. So kudos to him. But anyways, guys, it wraps it up for this pregame live stream. Uh, you know, we talked about the keys. We talked about uh, who we need to step up. We talked about, obviously, LeBron James missing the game. And now we're going to break it down for you guys live on playback. So matter of fact, right now, right now, make sure you guys go tap in over there and drop a comment and say pass. First 20 to say it, we'll get a pass from your boy. So stay tuned, guys. Tap in. The link is right there in the comment section. Shout out to Search, man. I will see you guys over there in a minute. All right? I'll see my playback family over there as well. Uh, go Lakers. Let's get this dub. Let's pull off one more miracle this season. Let's get it. No LeBron, no problem. Let's go.